Jabari Exum. Right. I am so excited to be sitting down with you. I feel like I tell my guests all the time how excited I am, but this one is truly special for me, seriously, because I feel like your work with Black Panther and everything, it was just so impactful, right? Such a great representation with this movie and everything that it's accomplished. So I just want to say thank you so much for sitting down with me. Um, your journey started in Southeast DC, right? Actually right here, that's where we are. Mm -hmm. And it landed you on the set of Marvel's Black Panther. Yeah. Tell me all about that journey. And as the action scene choreographer. Uh, well, as a uh, movement and dance coach, drumming okay. and dance, so okay. movement. So it wasn't acts like fighting per se, <laughs> because the stunt team takes care of the fighting. Got it. So that's a huge thing. Got it. But what I did was, uh, I did a lot. I did several things, but in the credit is a uh, tribal dance and movement coach. Okay. But basically it's a drumming, dance and movement coach. Traditional, I wanted to use the word traditional. Uh, because, um, I, but I choreographed the movie. I'm the choreogra choreographer for the movie. But at the time, um, that was a union title. So that was about a, 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 over a year ago. Oh, so I'm okay. union now, So, but I, you know, it's a long story. So that's a union <laughs> title. So how did you get this opportunity? So I, I, uh, I mean, how did I get it? Well, I mean, the, 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 the dynamic story is I was reading the comic book and I um, saw my name in the comic book. Mm -hmm. um, when the king gets uh, beat up the first time, you know, he's, he's about to become king. I forget if he gets beat up, but the point is right before his coronation, he's got to go back to the Jabari tribe. I think he does get beat up a little bit. Um, He's got to go back to the Jabari tribe who plays drums and they okay. live in Jabari land and he's got to restore his ancestral memory. So that is you. Like. Yeah. So I was just like, I called Chad right away. I dropped the book. I'm shaking. I call him. I'm like, yo, I'm coming down there, bro. I'm just, I'm just going. He was like, just come. And um, so uh, he was like, stay with me. Um, and you're talking things. about Chadwick Boseman, Yeah, right? yeah, okay. yeah. I call him Chad. I know, right? <laughs> so, you know, we, uh, so I go down there. But I've known Chad since I was 17. So oh, wow. we were doing theater together since when I was 17. We stayed in contact. I was at Duke. He was at Howard. I came to Howard. We stayed. He was in D.C. We were just like spiritual buddies, working out, training, poetry, meditating, stretching, doing everything we could do. Always, you know, finding some way to just like space cadets, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not doing regular. We never did regular stuff. Like we didn't hang out, go to the bar, go to the clubs, go to the movies. We would just study the Bible, go to Bible study, oh my gosh, do I martial love arts, that. drum, play chess. But that's probably why you guys are in be the deep together. <laughs> you know, try to be as deep as possible at all times. You know, but uh, and that that's out all well it was. For you guys. Yeah. So, yeah, and um, so I went down there and I started playing for them while they were uh, drumming for. Um, I mean, while they were training martial arts. So the stunt team trains the actors in martial arts but they you know were using like radio music and stuff like that so I um, came in there started drumming Lupita and Denai and Shuri was like you know bump that turn the radio off let him come back but I was volunteering at first okay so then I came home it was like a lull like what's gonna happen um, Chad was just like you know wait till you get the call so they they hired me brought me back down wow so you really worked your way up yeah I was a volunteer for two weeks then I was a production assistant from a, from the end of January to the beginning of shooting, and uh, I, I maintained production assistant status. But um, I was his production assistant and just helping out with stunts, um, helping them memorize their routines. Because where I come from, we you know the drummer marks the dance in West African culture. So what I was doing was marking the martial arts moments, all of the fighting as if they were, it was a dance. Mm. Um, I remember one day they was like about to start shooting. And uh, they were testing all of the fighting scenes, and it's people fighting all over the place in this huge building. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's like 200 people in there, you know, the extras, all the military, everybody was doing their routines at once. So um, Denai screamed, she was like, Jabari, what are you doing? I was just chilling in the background. <laughs> because, just watching everything. Yeah, because it wasn't a normal day of rehearsal. Uh, of, of training so yeah. I didn't want to get in the way I wanted to wait you know wait for somebody to be like we need you yeah and yeah it came the night was like what are you doing so basically she's used to training to the drum to me drumming so I have been playing things like so she knows what it sounds like when she kicks and when she swings and so every you know, movement was to like the beat of the drum right. wow so when they were shooting it uh, when they were shooting it 
I couldn't drum the whole time. Okay. There were times where I was drumming, but when they, like like the semifinals, like when Ryan had to approve it, the, they had to videotape them doing it, and, and, and you know, they was just like, I'm not trying to do this without Jabari. So th that was that. was that. And then uh, moving forward, um, you know, they got into a bind with the choreographer, and um, it, just, it just wasn't working out, and Chad was just like, well, that's why I brought Jabari, you know, and I just kept filling in the blanks. I, I started working with the drummers first, helping them pick drummers, teaching them how to look like they were drumming. Some of them were my guys, so they, they were good, but some people were beginners. Okay. So I had to train them on the drum. We had Saba, Jimbe's, Tamaz, and the Burundi drummers were self-contained, even though we kind of worked with everybody to make sure things were looking fluid. Um, but yeah, I mean, I did all that, coordinated all of that, rehearsed them, and then the extras came. So I had to teach all of them how to dance. And I had to, uh, Marvel gave me about five different, well, 20 different uh, options, mm -hmm. basically. So I pulled from about four or five different cultures for each culture. So it's for each tribe, there's five tribes. And I had about four or five cultures that I had to pull from to give each one of them their dance. So, you know, um, I think that's all on Marvel's website now, like the research, because it has yeah. to be, everything had to be backed by research. You know, so we did that forever. My legs, we were dancing on concert. This is amazing. I love hearing like the background and how this all came about. Other thing is I stayed with Chad the whole time. So I lived with him. Um, so that was, you know, so I was in the epicenter of, yeah. the, of the process the entire time. So you were staying with, um, you say, I feel like I can't I lived with Chad. Chadwick. Chadwick I, I lived, I lived with <laughs> Chadwick Boseman. Right, right, right. No, no, no. That's Chadwick fine. Boseman. But I feel like I can't be like, oh, you live with yeah, I mean that's how it, uh, that's how it feels to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's great that you know you guys. He was able to give you that opportunity and that platform, and I know that you know that was just you as well and your talents and stuff. Um, that's a testament to really working hard and staying true to what you do. Um, which scenes so I tried when I went back and watched the second time I feel like I tried to guess like which scenes you choreographed or like coach so which ones like well, would we know okay, so warrior falls mm -hmm. when the people are coming across on the water I said that yeah all of that yes. you know what I'm saying um when they're on the mountain that whole thing is called warrior falls okay I said that I was like it has to be like the challenge day part that all of okay. that so so when the uh, some of the stuff I did didn't end up going in there, but okay. it was that whole scene. So when the warriors say, when it was like, does anybody want to challenge the the uh, T'Challa? And each one of them says no. What you see is what they came up with probably because of time and budget. But, uh, and I love everybody. <laughs> you know I love you. But the stuff that I came up with for that moment, Lord have mercy. I hope they use it in part two. Right. Joe, yeah. it was beautiful. You know, Lupita, uh, Daniel, and the two other people who were warriors, I came up with some dope stuff for them and options and different stuff. Like they were supposed to do this ill little martial arts kata, you know what I'm saying? Like for five seconds and then be like, you know, what kind of forever, we won't oh, challenge you. It. But they, they didn't use the <laughs> Uh But I also, I did the extras when they were coming across, the drummers, anything you see them doing, and when the door start doing their dance, after he becomes a king, the door do a dance, I did that. Um, and what you, another thing you don't see that I did was um, I choreographed how the uh, the fighters fly. So, oh no, you see a little bit of it. So when Denai's flying the airplane, her mm -hmm. hand motions, mm -hmm. they they post. They, it was supposed to be a lot more CGI. The plan was going to be a lot more CGI, and we went through another range of motion. So when she's flying the airplane, the whole idea is that Wakanda don't touch the airplanes. Wow. So uh, even Martin Freeman, they gave him, if you notice, they gave him joysticks. Like yeah. he was, but at first he was trying to do my hand motions. And, um, you know, he was messing that up too. But it was supposed to be like funny. Yeah. But, you know, I guess um, they didn't, they didn't, it just, it was just a lot, man. They shot, they took a lot of takes and, you know, it was down to the wire. I didn't even know that there was so much detail and even yeah. like having a coach do the hand movements and things like that. So I had to come up with, I, so they were supposed to be um, like how they shoot like the, the guns or whatever, you know, they all of this is supposed to be happening. Like as soon as you walk into an airplane, the, your identity is picked up by the airplane. So basically when you think and how you move, the airplane just does it. So I had to create those motions. But the movie happens so fast, like yeah. you don't get inside the cockpit during the fights as much so you don't see all the stuff that the warriors. 
I feel like I can watch an extended version. Like I can watch a couple more hours of Black Panther. I want to be like, yo, so what did you, you know, what was it? And okay, you had to take it out, but yeah. what did it look like before you took it out? Like, cause I never got to see it, you know? But um, yeah, all of that stuff, all of that's called traditional movements. Cause I pull okay. from martial arts and Tai Chi and yoga to, to create those movements. So what was it like to see your project on the big screen? I'm still, uh, is it surreal yet? Yeah, definitely, okay. definitely. You know, I, I just talked to my ancestors, like my Uncle Jimmy, who mm -hmm. was in the Wiz. So I just, you know, a couple of them, I'll be talking to them all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I was kind of prepared for it, you know. Um, but I don't, I won't say, it just makes me feel like I have to stay on my game. It doesn't make me super, <sighs> uh, it's good. It feels yeah. really good. I don't know what to say, man. I really don't know what to say. I'm excited, I'm happy. That's cliche stuff, but really deep down inside, there's a, um, a crystallization of, uh, you know, purpose and knowing that your life has been changed forever. You can't go back can't. to at pre this moment. It's here. only like it, it really has created a, a completely different um, caliber of, of yeah, seeing yourself in a way, but how people see you and how you engage the world has, has shifted. Mm -hmm. It has shifted, you know. I won't say it's changed, but it's, it's elevated in some ways. Yeah, <laughs> add to your list of skills because you have so many. Um, Hip-hop artist, drummer, uh, songwriter, act, songwriter acting. all of mm -hmm. that, right? And I say, you know, people often say that you have to... You can, what is it, what is the saying? You don't have to Jack of all, get ready. master of something. No, 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 oh. no, no, stay ready. Lord, why? <laughs> <laughs> it's too many if sayings. If you stay it's ready, you sayings. don't have to get ready. That's right. Right? That's what and it's I about. And I feel like everything that you have done so far has it's prepared everything. for you, prepared the last, you for this moment. Yeah, the last five or seven years of my life has been like that. Um, everything I've done has been like that. I'm, I'm really well prepared because I've been on stage. I always tell people, I was like, it hasn't been six months. Up well, from the age of two to twenty-seven, I never went six months without being on stage. Mm -hmm. So I've been in production my entire life. You know, what I'm saying I slowed down um, after I started slowing down with my hip hop roots. You know, profit at twenty-seven. I'm thirty-five now. Okay. But um, I still so now the stage is just like to perform. Um, I just I'm aching to be performing more now. I love it. You know? So what initially made you interested in music and art itself? God, I mean, I've been doing it yeah. since I can remember. There's never, never been nothing else for me. Um, you know, I've been trying to drum since I could sit up, according to my mother. You know, drumming is just as, just about as long as I could talk. You know, so it's in you. It's in yeah, I've been drumming my whole life since before I was one. You know, trying to set up pots and pans and creating drum sets out of pots and pans, turning chairs upside down and breaking apart my bongos and turn them into toms at three years old, mm -hmm. you know. So I've been doing it forever. I love I've it. I've never, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's never <laughs> been a dull moment, but never. Now with Black Panther, did you ever think that this would have such a huge impact? Like just you being on set, where you sit in there like... This yeah, I kind of felt like we were going to take over the world. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and when, you know, because my, because my outlook has been so broad my whole life, I've always, like thought that I could find a way to end poverty. Like I've come up with all these grand schemes since I was in my 20s about how to save the world. So <laughs> it's like, it's not, I'm not surprised, I'm thankful. Yeah. You know, the only time I got really giddy is when they, they actually told me they were gonna pay me to be the choreographer. Yes. I went home, I tried to keep it together. And then I went How home. How can you keep it together nah, at that point, I right? kept it together for the most of the day, but then I went home and was like, all right, y'all, because I felt it coming. <laughs> I was just like, I didn't need to go home and cry and just say thank you. So I just went home. That was, the, And I just stayed in the house all night and just yeah. composed myself like, okay, it's, 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 this is what you said it was going to happen yeah. and we're here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, just, I just really hope uh, and I really want, yeah, I really hope and pray that the relationships, um, are not don't just stay like business relationships right. you've made such amazing connections with the cast um lupita she just did a um, birthday video where she had your song on it lupita be sure you keep on spreading your wings and your compassion for it won't be long the 
world's gonna sing. Viva la Nakia. Yeah. You know, you've made lasting impressions. How, what does that mean to you to be able to have, be so impactful? I just, I just want to be able to spread the love and make, and, and, and make uh, people feel special along the way. You know, um, but I mean like people who are not already super famous, you know, um, like Chad doesn't return. He's too busy to return my calls, all my calls. But the other day I hit him up and um, I was like, this little boy had a dream about you. And I had sent him like four other five threads that he didn't respond to. He was like, oh, I'm sorry I missed this. Call me when you're with the boy again. He seems like a genuine person. So it's, it's the same. You purpose. see what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's, it's, I mean, it's not on purpose, yeah. but it's like it's, it, you just can't. I can't even pick up and right, screen right. all my calls now. So, um, you know, but I just use that as an example to show that the impact that we're trying to make, and it's not just me, but Chad as well, um, the things we, we want to see the, the ground move. We want to see young people completely transform so that's why i say he didn't respond to the thing about an interview or some other stuff i had sent him do you want to do that i know it's a lot going on but then i was like i know it's a lot going on i say it i say that often. i know it's a lot going on but this little boy just had a dream about you i'm about to go have dinner with him just call me back uh -huh. if you can and he would call me back the next day he was like call me when you're with yeah. him again so those are the things that matter the most um a lot of the other stuff comes with the territory and a lot of some of it you just got to stay away from because, you know, people are always, people do try to sabotage, you know, so you just have to kind of stay clear and stay focused on what you're going to do with this energy now and how you're going to share it. Uh, because people are, you know, it's just amazing. People are building little Wakandan towns and, you know, trying to buy houses and call it the Wakanda area. and People want to yeah. go to Wakanda. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> we can make that, I think we can make that real. Mm -hmm. I think... Um, <clears throat> I'm, 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 the way I interact with the community, I'll probably be more on the ground sooner than um, in doing that kind of stuff, to my knowledge, than some of the big actors, because they're still making the next movie, making the next movie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just, I, I really, I just want it to become as real as possible, yeah. you know? Um, even if that, uh, I heard rumors that some amusement park might be building a Wakanda and we can actually oh create God, a curriculum in that space there. yeah <laughs> yeah so i i just want to create curriculums and build schools and i love that i think that's why so many people connected with this movie too because it just seems so genuine yeah. in that you know people really did want to make a difference with this movie and i think that you guys definitely did that um the representation was outstanding yeah i had ex high expectations for this movie and it exceeded every single one of them yeah mine too actually <laughs> yeah so literally thank you for that and thank you for coming down to sit with me Absolutely. i really really appreciate you making the time is it over it's over oh. everybody always says that it's <laughs> over <laughs> we could talk forever right <laughs> thank you so much though no problem thank you <laughs>